homemade egg pasta is actually easier to make than you might think. There's no real recipe, it's more of a ratio that you need to know. You need 100 grams of flour to one egg, and that's enough to feed one person. So I'm gonna make a dough today using 200 grams of flour, and it's just plain flour. Perfect. And we're gonna put this onto the clean bench. just in a mound. I'm just going to make a well in the centre. And this is where we're going to crack our eggs into. So, keeping with the ratio, we'll need two eggs. And it's always best to crack them into a bowl first, just in case you've got a dodgy egg. Okay, so the eggs are going to go into the middle. Make sure we can capture both of them. And then what we're going to do is gradually work that flour into the egg. And at this point I also like to add a little bit of salt. You just need a little pinch. We will season our pasta when we're about to eat it with the sauce, but it's also good to make sure it's seasoned as a raw pasta. So keep bringing that in. Then at this point, when you kind of get a bit of a gluggy mess, you can start using your hands. This is where it gets a little bit messy. Pull it all together. Keep scraping up that flour to incorporate it into your dough. So that's coming together. It's still a little bit sticky, so we just need to keep kneading it. There's no real fancy way of kneading it, as long as you're kind of pushing it and bringing it back together on top of each other. Eventually, after a bit of an arm workout, you'll end up with a really soft, silky dough. And if you're finding that your dough is really too dry, you can actually add a little bit of water, but I'd only add the water about one teaspoon at a time so you don't put too much liquid into the batter. Uh, only add one teaspoon of liquid into the dough so it doesn't get too wet. So it's becoming softer and more silkier, but we've still got a little way to go. Now there is a cheats way of doing this. You put your flour and your eggs and a bit of salt into a food processor and let the food processor do all the work for you, but I reckon this part's pretty fun, so I don't like to skip it. As you can see, it now looks like a nice soft pliable dough. And then what we need to do is form it into a little disc, wrap it in some plastic wrap and pop it into the fridge for about half an hour and just let it sit. Okay, so the easiest thing is to cut your dough in halves. And if you've made a really large quantity, you're probably best to actually cut it into quarters. But seeing this is only a small amount, we'll just go in halves. So take one half and take it over to your pasta machine. Now it's important that you start on the largest number first. So that's I'm starting on number seven. So number seven, which is the biggest gap in between the rollers. And I'm just going to dust the pasta with a little bit of flour. Just to make sure it doesn't stick to the machine. Alright. Then the first roll through. Just got to squish it a little bit more. Try and squish it into somewhat of a rectangle. And that's our first roll. Then we'll do it again. Then I'm going to fold it in half and roll it again. Then we just continue to do this, making the gap in between slightly smaller each time. So now onto number six. I'm 
just going to fold it in half again. Give it one more go. Okay, we'll drop it down to number five. Now on to four. Try and be really gentle with it because it's very delicate. You don't want to put your fingers through it, which is quite easy to do. And just guide it out. And drop it down to number three. Now at this point, it does become a little bit more difficult to handle because it is quite long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it in half. And then we'll just roll one half. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to number two. Generally speaking, you don't want to go any thinner than uh, number two if you're making like a fettuccine or a tagliatelle pasta because um, it's actually quite thin at this point in time, as you can see. So that's looking quite beautiful. We'll do the other half now. All right, that looks pretty good. Right, so at this point in time, you could make handkerchief pasta, which is as simple as just cutting your pasta into kind of irregular sized um, pieces. Or, what I'm gonna do now though, I'm going to make fettuccine. So we just change the setting on our pasta machine. I'm using this one here, it's the thickest option. Now this pasta, I'm not going to put any more flour on it because it's not sticky at all, so it's not going to stick to the machine, which is good. But if you find that it is a little bit sticky, just make sure you do dust it with a little tiny bit of plain flour. Now in we go. And see, beautiful strands of golden pasta. So you can shape them into mounds. So this makes a really silky, gorgeous pasta and it'll take next to no time to cook. Okay, so if you don't have a pasta machine at home, don't stress, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go old school and use a rolling pin. This way just takes a little bit more muscle power. And if you don't have a rolling pin, you can also use a bottle of wine. A little bit of liquid inside is actually quite good because the weight helps. And I'm gonna go back to the rolling pin. So keep rolling and moving the pasta so it doesn't stick to the bench. When you're doing this by hand, you're really going to struggle to get it as thin as the pasta machine would, but that's okay. A little bit thicker is not a problem. It'll just take slightly longer to cook in the boiling salted water. But I think that's pretty good thickness. So to make your own fettuccine style, what you can do, you might cut this in half because it's extra long. Just grab a little bit of flour. Just flour your hands up. You just don't want the pasta to stick. So what I'm going to do is actually fold this over. And then we're going to take a knife. It's been lightly floured. I'm going to cut 
the sheet. And then, have your own little strips of pasta. So you can make them as long or as short as you like, and you can also make them as thick as you like. That's a nice, easy way to make pasta without the machine. And this piece here, I'll just show you what the handkerchief pasta looks like. It's quite rustic and I quite like it with a nice thick ragu. So you can just cut irregular shapes. Like so. And when that's cooked up, you just get these beautiful shapes of pasta. Easy.